Hi, this is Dr. Nate Story with Bright Agritech, and this is Aquaponics Academy episode number one. Welcome to Aquaponics Academy, a Bright Agrotech podcast designed to help you overcome common aquaponic issues, learn new growing techniques, and help you be as successful as you can be as an aquaponic practitioner. Whether you're just getting started or you've been growing aquaponically for decades, this podcast is for anyone wanting to design the best performing system possible. Join aquaponics expert, Dr. Nate Story, the creator of Zip Grow Towers, as he breaks down complex topics into easy to understand information. And now, here's Dr. Nate Story. Today I want to go over with you guys kind of the purpose um, of these podcasts, give you a brief overview of aquaponics as a growing technique, and just uh, basically introduce this series that we're going to be doing on aquaponics for beginners, uh, for uh, as well as advanced growers. So um, let me just kind of introduce uh, what we're doing here. This is uh, going to be called Aquaponics Academy. And um, the goal of these podcasts is to give you the best possible information uh, for free. So if you guys have been following us on YouTube, if you've been following us on some of other, our other social media sites, you know that we like to um, put out videos, put out um, as much information as we can, free keys, guides, nutrient deficiencies, talking about all these things. And we like to do it for free because um, we feel like the information should be out there, that you guys should be able to access it, and you guys should be able to use it to do really great things. So, um, the goal of this show is just basically to make that information available to you in the form of a podcast. And, um, you know, as time goes on, we're going to be talking uh, in detail, not just about, you know, the, the things we're going to introduce today, uh, these very introductory kind of uh, aquaponics topics, but we're going to be talking in detail about system design. And this is kind of a big thing that I want to make sure that we're addressing how to design good systems, because if you can start off by designing a good system, um, it makes so many other things really, really easy in the process of getting getting started and getting set up. So uh, we're going to talk about design, we're going to talk about uh, your nutrients, your, your fish, your plants, the needs of these different things, and um, you know, I think there's going to be a fair amount of biology. We're going to try and keep it fairly simple, because these things don't need to be overcomplicated. But uh, we will be getting into some of the science of the fish, science of the plants, and most importantly, the science of the microbes. So, um, in this episode, I figure I'll just address kind of what aquaponics is. How does it all work? So, if you're new to aquaponics, you've inevitably heard someone talking about uh, putting fish and plants together in these systems and how they interact symbiotically. And um, I'll tell you that that's kind of, uh, that's, that's not really the case. The reality is, is it's more of um, two separate countries bridged by uh, bridged by microbes. So we've got our fish and we've got our plants, and they both do their own thing, right? The fish are producing waste, and the plants are consuming waste nutrients. But how does that waste become waste nutrients? And um, how how does it become bioavailable? How do the how does it get from these chunky, disgusting fish feces to plant nutrients? And uh, how do the plants take those up? And, and uh, you know, what is happening, um, what is happening between uh, the feces and between the plant nutrients? So all of that is mediated by microbes. Okay, so microbes are really the most important part of these systems. And, uh, you know, with, you, you can always tell what, what the essential parts of a system are by removing them, right? So in an aquaponic system, we can remove the fish and uh, we won't have an instantaneous crash. We can remove the plants we won't typically have an instantaneous crash. But if we remove the microbes, the system will die, crash immediately. So the microbes are really the most important part of aquaponic systems. They do all of the work, and the fish and the plants are just kind of along for the ride. So, you know, uh, these systems are very neat. They're very unique. Uh, at Bright Agrotech, we try not to um, sell them for more than they are. But uh, they are a very unique and interesting way to produce food, and they can be very sustainable, they can be a lot of fun, and they can be really useful, and uh, probably the most appropriate growing technique in a lot of situations. So um, we're probably going to dig into what those situations are, and kind of how to think about aquaponics in relation to, say, hydroponics, and vermiponics, and peaponics, and all of the other... Uh, interesting little things that have started here in the last um, the last few years. Now, um, if you if you know about aquaponics, um, you know that it's a form of hydroponics. Okay, so 
aquaponics and hydroponics are um, very similar in a lot of different ways. Uh, aquaponics is a form of hydroponics, but instead of using um, instead of using fertilizer, we're just using fish waste, and we're helping that waste break down in the system with our design, and we're making that waste available to the plants. So there's this big, beautiful symbiotic loop. It's a very elegant system. The fish produce waste. The waste is broken down by microbes. The excess nutrients are taken up by plants, and that clean water then is recirculated to the fish, and it just keeps on cycling and cycling and cycling. And so long as we keep it in balance, and so long as we keep the system healthy, it just keeps cranking along. And this is a really wonderful thing because it really maximizes our output um, as a function of the inputs that we're putting into the system. So um, hopefully that's kind of a, a good overview of, of what aquaponics is. Again, we'll be delving into uh, what aquaponics is in more detail down the road. Um, so the, the next thing is uh, to, to address who should be doing aquaponics. And the answer to this question is anyone who can, right? Anyone uh, who's in a place where it's feasible or you've got enough room. But honestly, you know, aquaponics can be done on a very small s scale, and these are typically called microsystems, up to a very large scale. And these are some of your big commercial systems. Uh, so they're all different shapes and sizes. Nothing is really standardized, so there's opportunities to build something that is very specific to exactly your situation and your needs. And that's the fun part of aquaponics, because we get to take all of these cool principles and we get to combine them in a way that lets us, um, that basically lets us put together a custom solution for us. And uh, it's not just growing, it's designing, and uh, you get to get your hands dirty, and uh, it's, it's a blast. So the, one of the most common things on the front end to uh, talk about, you know, after we talk about who should be doing aquaponics is what does it take to be successful? And um, this podcast series is going to help with this because in my opinion and in all of my experience, most of the time, the one thing that impacts the success of beginning growers more than anything else is just a lack of really good information and a lack of understanding of the science that underpins the system. So you can't just build these things and expect them to run if you don't understand what the plants need, if you don't understand what the fish need, if you don't understand what the microbes are doing in the system. So the goal of this podcast series is to give you that information. And once you have that information, you have the opportunity to be more successful than you would have been if you just started off winging it. So the goal here is not to have you go cut up, you know, two dozen IBCs and a whole bunch of uh, PVC pipe and spend a few thousand dollars um, learning the expensive way. The goal of this podcast series is to make it as simple as possible and uh, you can go out, build a system and be successful the first time around. So um, yeah, this is, this is kind of the, the goal here and uh, the, the goal is to make this information available to you guys and uh, hopefully, hopefully it's useful. So um, That'll, this, you know, this is the goal of the podcast series. We're also going to be kind of um, posting information on our YouTube channel. So if you guys want to see video of what we're talking about, this is an audio format. So I know that it's not always the most conducive to talking about technical things. So when it comes to like system diagrams, that kind of thing, what we're going to try and do is we're going to try and correspond some video content with these podcasts so that we can kind of, um, keep you guys entertained, make sure that you understand what we're talking about in these podcasts, make sure that you have an actual visual to go with the audio you're getting. Um, so yeah, make sure you're checking out uh, YouTube and also our blog. We do a lot, of, um, a lot of blog posts and there's a lot of great info up there. And now we've got a lot of really cool new guest bloggers that are, that are putting info up on, on pest control and, and all sorts of other interesting things that are really, really important to um, beginning aquaponics folks. Because again, it doesn't matter what a great system you design and you build and you get it operational if aphids come through and wipe you out. So it's good to have all this information. It's good to know where to find it. And um, we're going to do our best to kind of support these podcasts with material on YouTube as well as our blog. So thanks for tuning in to this episode of Aquaponics Academy. On behalf of everyone here at Bright Agritech, we're just, uh, we're just excited. Um, and we're, we're excited to get this thing going. And we hope that you'll... Uh, keep joining us for these future episodes. We're going to keep talking about aquaponics and uh, we're going to keep on giving you the best possible information on aquaponics and uh, creating a successful system. <music>